Hello artists, welcome to your Eiffel Tower painting class. In front of you, you should have your Eiffel Tower sketched on your canvas. Be sure you have your larger brush and your smaller brush, a paper towel, a cup of water. Also, be sure to have your yellow, your red, your blue, your black, and your white. I do recommend a plate for this class uh, because we will be mixing a little bit um, with our colors. If you do not have all those materials in front of you, you're welcome to push pause on the video and come back whenever you're ready. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is wash our two brushes by just swirling them around in our cup of water and then patting them dry on our paper towel like so. The first thing we're going to concentrate on is building all those beautiful colors in our sky and our water area. So let's go ahead and grab our larger brush and we're going to grab our yellow paint. So large brush, yellow paint. All I'm gonna do when I paint the yellow in my sky is make long lines going side to side, like so. So I'm gonna make some maybe that are a little bit shorter, some that are a little bit longer. And I do kind of flick my brush, which means I sweep my brush a little bit too, to where I can have those thinner feathery ends at the end of my brush stroke. You don't want to completely cover up the sky with yellow, but we will be adding a lot just kind of randomly everywhere. We'll even be adding some down here. The arch kind of underneath the arch area. And then some in this kind of triangular area. Up here. I'm gonna keep going for a little bit longer, add a little bit more yellow my sky. So we don't want to completely cover it up, but we definitely want to add a lot of yellow. Then we're just kind of flicking side to side only, like we're creating these long minus signs or we're crossing our T's. After you do get a good amount of yellow lines, pretty much close to what we have right now, I do want you to kind of curve your, um, your canvas to the left or kind of turn your canvas to the left and add some lines on the side maybe anywhere from five to 10, above the line where the ground, ground's gonna be. So up here, five to 10 lines going side to side. So it's gonna be above where that line is for your land. So above that. Same thing on the right side, above the line for your ground. I'm gonna turn it and make anywhere from five to 10 lines with my yellow going side to side. Let's see a little bit better. And then the top area too, I'll be making some lines going side to side, maybe three or four of them. Oops, oops. They can be long, they can be short. There we go. So a good amount of yellow lines. After I'm done with my yellow, and if you're still working on it, take your time, no rush. You do wanna get your big brush wet, tap it on the paper towel about five or six times, and just kind of go over your yellow with water to smooth out your yellow paint. So the water is gonna just make it look a little bit smoother. So just a little bit of water tap it on your paper towel, and then go over your yellow lines going side to side. I'm just going over my line work, going over the sides over here too. Kind of move 
moves my paint a little bit more too. It kind of spreads it out just a little bit more. Perfect. All right, so I have my yellow. Some on the sides, some on the top, some on the right that I just added water to. Whenever you're done, you are going to wash your brush. And again, if you're, take, uh, if you're still um, working on your yellow, take your time. You're welcome to pause the video. I'm gonna wash and tap the water off my brush. The next thing I'm gonna do is make it pink by adding red and white together. I'm gonna take my big brush, get a nice big scoop, go back, get another nice big scoop. So two scoops of white and a dot of red. So just a little bit of red it makes a nice light pink like a baby pink. Like so. I'm just going to wipe off all the extras off the side of my brush so I don't have any big chunks of paint on the side. Go back and make sure it looks nice and pink. Wipe off the side of your brush if you need to. And then I'm going to go back to my canvas. Same idea as the yellow. I'm going to go in there and make some Lines with my pink going side to side, including the left side, the right side, and the top. Um, it uh, It's absolutely fine if the yellow and the pink touch. They're going to start kind of working together. They're going to be blending a little bit together. Uh, maybe you give your yellow a minute or two to dry before you go in there with your pink. Because you don't want it to be too, like, orangish. But you, it's not a big deal if they touch and they blend together or they work together. When they're both wet. And don't forget about these areas. I'm going in there and just finding those empty spots as well. So I can slowly start filling up my canvas. And I have some shorter lines. I have some longer lines going side to side. I go always go back to more pink. I'm just kind of sweeping. I'm just kind of flicking my brush side to side. Slowly filling in all that space, or almost all that space, because we're still going to use some blue and white later. So I'm going to go in there and fill in some more space, but it's okay if I can still see the white canvas after I'm done with my pink, because I still have my blue and my white paint to use as fillers for my sky. Once I have a good amount of pink, like so, I'll start working on the left side, maybe five to ten lines above my ground line, filling in some more of that white space. So on the left, on the right, and then on the top, again above my ground line, going in between some of those white spaces. And then I'll be doing the same thing as I did with my yellow. I'll be adding some water to my brush, going over my pink to kind of help it smooth out a little bit and move a little bit further out. And I have a good amount of pink in my sky area. I'm going to wash my brush. And then I'm going to tap it on my paper towel and go over the pink with more just sweeps of water to help that pink move out and smooth out just a little bit more. It's going over my pink. And if your pencil smudges a little bit, no problem. Just go over and kind of smooth it out. And slowly the, the pencil smudge will go away. So you just have to go over it and just kind of smooth it out with your brush. All right. 
Let's have a good amount of yellow, a good amount of pink. I'm gonna give this about a minute to dry, but next will be my blue paint, my blue paint. I'm gonna wash and dry, and again, if you're still working on your yellow and pink, you're welcome to pause the video. Pop it on my brush, my brush and my paper towel. And next up is my blue. Same idea, a little bit of blue, not too much. Give your um, pink and yellow a little bit of time to dry. So blue paint. I'm going to go in there and find some areas where there's no paint. I'm going to sweep side to side. Slowly starting to fill in the sky area more and more. And after this, we still do have white to use as a filler, so don't feel like it completely has to be covered up. But you definitely wanna almost be at that point where there's not too much of the canvas poking through. Again, they're very random. I'm just going in there and flicking my big brush side to side, filling up all that white space. And again, I'll do the same thing to the sides. And then again, adding water to my brush to help it smooth out a little bit more. To kind of work a little bit better with the pink and the yellow. And then again, don't forget about the sides, five to 10 lines, slowly filling up the sky space. And then adding water to our brush. And then once you have a good amount of blue on there, you can always add water to your brush, just like we did before. Tap it on your paper towel and start going over your blues. It's kind of flicking side to side. Smooth it out a little bit more. You'll be doing the same thing to the sides. Add water. Smooth it out. Perfect. And you can wash and dry your brush. Before I add white on top of this, I am gonna go back and see if there's any uh, spaces that I wanna maybe fill in a little bit more. Be sure your brush is nice and clean before each color change. And just be aware that if a wet color touches another wet color, it is gonna to mix together. I'm just gonna go in there and add a little bit more pink in some of these white areas. But again, I'm just going side to side with my brush. Be sure to kind of keep that same side to side movement. Add some more pink. 
think I'm going to even go back and add some more yellow in just a moment. I'm going to wash and dry my brush. Go back to some more yellow. That's too much. Okay. Just kind of fill in the space. And I will be going in there with white too. So if you still have some spots that are peeking through, that's totally fine. But I definitely want most of it to be covered up at this point with some beautiful colors. If you get some on your Eiffel Tower, that's totally fine. All right, so once I'm done going back and kind of touching up, I am gonna wash and dry my big brush again. And I'll just go into my white paint. Not too much on there. Maybe you just tap some on your paper towel, so you just have a little on there. But I'm just going to go in there randomly, sweeping here and there with my white paint. Maybe even give your paint a minute to dry before you go in there and sweep some white on there so it doesn't mix all your colors together. It just kind of gives it a nice white light. So before you do your white, maybe give it a minute to dry, and then you can kind of sweep some white over your colors and inside those areas where you might have missed a little bit earlier. Just gonna soften our painting a little bit. So, excuse me, big brush. Tap on my paper towel so there's not too much on there. I'm gonna go over my colors a little bit to soften it. And then I'm gonna find those white areas of my canvas to go over it with some white. Once you're done with the white, you should have, uh, you should make sure that all of your background for your sky is nice and covered. I'll even add some white to the sides of my canvas. And also to the top. So white paint, tap. Those areas, just sweep some white. White. And then on the top as well. If you feel like this already looks nice and smooth, you do not have to add water to your brush and go over your white paint. But if you feel like it's not blending together very well, like you have some spots that look kind of rough and they don't look like they're working together very well, you can go back, add water, tap it on your paper towel and go over your white paint a little bit. That's up to you. If they're already all kind of working together well, you don't have to worry about it. But otherwise, You can add water to your brush, tap it on your paper towel, and go over your white a little bit more. Make sure all that space is filled in. A nice, complete sky. And side to side. All right, good job. Once you're done, you are gonna kind of keep the same idea but down here, a little bit over to the right, um, you're going to use your yellow, your pink mix, your blue, and your white. And you're going to add water to each one of them. Kind of like how we did before, but we're going to keep it down here. And I'll show you how. Um, if you are still working on your sky, take your time. No rush. You're welcome to push pause on the video. I'm going to move on to the next step. So a nice, clean, big brush. I use my yellow paint. Again, I'm kind of keeping more to this side for the reflection. I'm just going to do some sweeps of yellow over here. It's a good amount. I'm going to add water to my brush, tap it on the paper towel, go side to side. Again, I'm just working in this area. It's a good amount of yellow. I'm going to wash and dry my brush. I'm going to move on to pink. Find those areas that I can use to fill in. Maybe give it a minute to dry before I go in there with my pink. So 
again, I'm kind of staying in this reflection area. You can add water, tap, 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 go over my pink. Then I'm gonna wash my brush, dry it on my paper towel. I'm gonna go in there with my blue. Put too much on there, okay, there we go. Maybe give this a minute to dry. Um, fill it in. And it is a smaller area, so you might notice that I am kind of getting it shorter sweeps with my brush, just giving it a little bit more mini. You can add water to it if you need to. Make it a little bit smoother. And then I'll go in there and add some white in this area too. So white, tap, tap, so me water, tap, tap, tap. I'll go into my white paint. Go in there and kind of fill up the spaces a little bit more and then add water if I need to. All right. So same process that we did up here, but we're just gonna make it down here, a mini version of it for the reflection. Then you can wash and dry your brush. If you're still working on those two areas, again, you're welcome to pause the video, but I am gonna go on to the next step of our painting. I would give the background a minute or two to dry because we are gonna go from all these bright colors to black paint and you don't want them to mix. So I'm gonna use my big brush and my black paint. So again, give it a minute or two to dry. Maybe just watch this, um, step and then jump on after I'm done kind of showing it to you so you're giving your painting some drying time but all I'm going to do is go over my pencil line with my big brush and my black paint and I'm just going to drag my brush from one side to the next and just outline my Eiffel Tower You're even welcome to outline this pencil line right here where it separates. The land from the sky. All I'm doing is taking my big brush, dragging it over the pencil line with my black paint. You want nice long lines with your black paint. And here's the thing, if you accidentally do mess up with your black paint, you're welcome to let your black paint dry and then go over with white paint to white it out. And then once the white is dry, you can go over it with whatever color you need. So you're pretty much whiting out the color that you don't need. Just going over my pencil line with my big brush and my black paint. Continue to work up. It doesn't really matter which order you go in with this black outline. Just be aware of your wet paints. Add a little bit of water to my brush, tap it on the paper towel. I'm gonna go over some of these scratchy looking lines to kind of smooth it out. There we go. My black paint tends to dry out pretty fast. So if it does, I just add a little bit of water to my brush, tap it on my paper towel. 
gonna go over my black. All right, once you are done with your outline, you can start filling in each section. Um, I do recommend down here with your black, just kind of work around this curve. So be sure you're just kind of coming in on either side and you do want to fill in the whole thing with black. With your rectangle shapes, be sure you're moving your brush side to side. And when you're moving up these shapes, just kind of move up with your brush. So you're just kind of working with the shape. So side to side with these three rectangle shapes around this kind of rainbow shaped arched area and then up and diagonal for the, um, these three sections. So let's go ahead and fill those up once we're done outlining. If you accidentally get out of the Eiffel Tower shape, again, you can white it out once the black is dry and then go over it with the color that you need. Another option you can do is you can use your small brush to just go and outline it in black to clean up the outside edges. Or you can use your big brush just to kind of drag the side of it to get that clean edge back. Always drag your brush and just kind of go over it to get a nice clean line. After we're done painting this black, we're gonna give it like a minute to dry. It's not gonna be completely dry. We are gonna add a little bit of white to our big brush. We don't even have to clean our brush. You can still have a little bit of black on it. We're gonna go in there and add some sweeps. And those sweeps will kind of become a gray in there. And then we can always go back and add more white and make um, a white in there too. So we're going to have some black on our Eiffel Tower, some gray on our Eiffel Tower, and some white on our Eiffel Tower. And it's just going to be some sweeps with our um, small brush to kind of help outline it with more gray and white. So I'll show you that in just a minute. Take your time. I'm just going to go in there and use my small brush to get my outline shape back a little bit. But you want it to be all black. You don't want to see any of that white canvas peeking through. going in there using my small brush, outlining it again, just getting those nice clean lines back. 
drag my brush into my Our Eiffel Tower, and I don't even uh, wash my big brush because I am going to use it later on down here uh, where the reflection is. Um, I do have some black on this small brush. I'm just going to wipe it off. I don't even have to wash it. I'm going to give my Eiffel Tower um, maybe about a minute or two to dry. Um, so I get, I've put my small brush aside. My big brush still has black on it. Uh, what I'm going to do while I'm giving my Eiffel Tower some time to dry, I'm going to go in there with my big brush and my black paint and just kind of sweep in from the left and to the right, and I'm going to paint the bottom as well. Um, so let me show you how. So big brush, black paint, just kind of sweeping in underneath this line. Some can come out a little bit further, some not so much. So again, I'm just using my brush my big brush and my black paint only to flick in and be sure to have some lines that are a little bit longer, some lines that are a little shorter. I'm even going to paint the left side and the right side of my canvas black where it kind of carries over to the left side. Right side of the ground area of that. And the very bottom of my canvas, I can carefully paint black. Down very carefully. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to my big brush, tap it on my paper towel about eight to 10 times. I'm just gonna go over that black just a little bit to smooth it out. Again, remember you're flicking towards the colors. I do want it to be more solid on the side, so I do want all that to be black. Make sure you don't have any white peeking through. Same on the left side. So water, tap on your paper towel. Some lines coming in on either side. Make sure it looks nice and smooth by adding maybe a little bit of water to your brush. Keep going over your black. I did come into this line right here a little bit too, but just a little bit thicker. Like so. All right, and then again, don't forget the sides. 
in the bottom. And we're gonna let this dry just a little bit, but we'll also be adding some white down here too. But let's give it some drying time before we do. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wash and dry my big brush. I'm gonna use my small brush. It's okay if there's a little bit of black on it. If your small brush has not been used, it's okay if it's completely clean. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is use my small brush white paint, maybe even tap some on your paper towel so you don't have too much on there. And I'm gonna go in there and just kind of sweep the shape of my Eiffel Tower, kind of like where my pencil lines were before. So I'm just gonna go in there and just the left side, the bottom, around here. I'm gonna find that shape again with just a little bit of white on my small brush, tap on my paper towel, and sweep the shape of my Eiffel Tower that I might have lost with my black paint. So I'm just going in there, white, small brush, tap, 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 going back and sweeping kind of like where the pencil lines were before so I can find my Eiffel Tower shapes. And I'm just sweeping. I don't want solid lines. I just want to sweep here and there. And if you feel like you did put too much white on there, just let it dry and just go over with your black. White, tap on your paper towel, sweep through there. There's that little rectangle shape over here. I'm just going a little bit on the inside so I'm not getting into my sky uh, sky's colors. Once you're done sweeping the shape of your Eiffel Tower, and again, if you're still working on it, you're welcome to pause. Um, on the video, but super easy. You're just gonna go a little bit more into the middle, but again, be sure you're just kind of following the shape of your Eiffel Tower. So I'm kind of curving in down here. Inside, I'm going side to side, up here. And it's kind of like what whatever's left on my brush. So there's barely any paint on my small brush. So it's just whatever's left on there. Going in and filling it in. Some more sweeps and then I can go in there and actually add a little bit more white tap on my paper towel and get some areas where I do have a little bit of a brighter white on my brush so white tap and go in there and make it a little bit of a brighter white on there I do have my black working with my gray, working with like a little bit more of a brighter white. And again, if you feel like you got too much white on there, let it dry and then go back with more black. And with our same small brush, uh, again, take your time, but whenever you're done, you are gonna be adding some sweeps of um, white um, onto the ground area. So on the left side, on the right side, don't worry about the left or the right or the bottom where it curves over, but I'm gonna go back to my small brush, tap on the paper towel. I'm just gonna sweep some white in. Coming in from the left side. Coming in from the right side. 
And again, if you feel like you got too much on there, just let it dry and then you can go back and add some black on top to get rid of some of the white paint. If you wanted to just go back to more white on your brush to make it a little bit brighter, you could, because you do want to have that black, the gray and the white all kind of working together. Um, one last thing whenever you're ready for it once you're done with your sweeping with your small brush on the left and right side again take your time push pause on the video if you need to but you're going to use the back of your small brush the back of your small brush you're going to dip it into the white paint and you're going to kind of treat it like a stamp you're going to push down on it around your Eiffel Tower to create um, your stars and remember, the harder you push on the back of your small brush, the bigger the dots become. So be sure you have a nice variety of big and small dots working. So again, small brush, the back of it, where there's that perfect circle. And then you're just going to push down on it. Make dots. Go back to more. Working it around. You can even have some in there. And some nice dots for your sky, the stars. I did have a couple down here, but mostly I want to have my stars up here. So it's okay if you have a couple lower down. And in the original painting, it doesn't look like there's any reflections of stars on the ground. So just be sure to keep the dots. Okay. Um, if you are going back, um, I'm gonna go back and add a little bit more black to my Eiffel Tower. So if you are going back to your Eiffel Tower, if you got too much white on there, all you have to do is just go back to your black paint. I'm just gonna sweep some black where you want to. Maybe not have as much of the white poking through. But this is what I was talking about by just letting the white dry a little bit and then going back and adding just black on top. I'm using my big brush for this. Just sweeping some black in there. So again, if you feel like you got too much white on there, don't feel bad, um, don't feel worried to go back and kind of mess with it a little bit more. Otherwise, your gorgeous Eiffel Tower painting is ooh, all done. I'll bring it down just a little bit more. Uh, don't forget to have a nice amount of stars in the sky. Um, if you want to go back and touch anything up, you can. Just be aware for what color touches another, what color it is going to mix and blend together. But otherwise, your beautiful Eiffel Tower painting is all done. Thank you so much, artists, and have a beautiful day.